Ten Common English Phrasal Verbs with Come from EspressoEnglish.net. Number one, come across means to find something by accident. For example, when I was cleaning my room, I came across my middle school diaries. Number two, come along means to accompany someone when going somewhere. For example, we're going to get ice cream. Want to come along? Number three, come back means return. For example, he's still hoping his ex-girlfriend will come back to him even after all these years. Number four, come off, when something becomes separated or unstuck from another thing. For example, the paint is starting to come off the wall in the kitchen. Number five, come on. The phrasal verb "come on" has multiple uses, but when used as an exclamation, it can be encouragement for someone to do something, or it can mean something like "stop being ridiculous." For example, I don't want to dance. I'm no good at it. Everyone will laugh at me. Oh, come on! Nobody here cares whether or not you can dance. Number six, come out. Means appear or leave the inside of a place. For example, it's cloudy right now, but the sun should come out later. My little brother is hiding under the covers and doesn't want to come out. Number seven, come over, means come to someone's house. For example, if you come over tomorrow after school, I'll help you with your homework. Number eight. Come through means produce or deliver a result. For example, I thought my favorite basketball team would lose the game, but the offense came through and scored fifteen points in the last five minutes. Number nine, come up, means appear, often used for when a task or responsibility appears unexpectedly, or when a topic appears in a discussion. For example, I'm sorry I missed your birthday party. Something came up at the last minute, and I couldn't go. I thought someone would mention the policy change, but it didn't come up during the meeting. Number ten, come up with, means create or invent something. For example, every time I ask him to do something, he always comes up with a list of excuses for why he can't do it. Do you want to learn phrasal verbs the natural way? Check out the Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course at EspressoEnglish.net. It will help you learn phrasal verbs easily and naturally in the context of everyday spoken English. Visit EspressoEnglish.net and check out the Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course.